All right, we got the CIT thing on the table now, as well as the huge market rally, and my own view that sometimes the profits paradox, a bad economy can generate good profits, which then are supposed to generate a good economy in a stock market rally. So here to piece all this together and all that Kudlow speak, we have Bob Froelich, Quentin Hardy, and Jerry Boer. Fellas, there's nothing we can do. We're powerless over the CIT issue, but I want to get your very quick reaction. Quentin, you first. Uh, what's your take on CIT as you heard Charlie Gasparino and other reports? If it goes down, you know, at least they're declaring something too big to too sm small enough to fail, excuse me. And Goldman Sachs, yay them, but they did privatize their losses, probably socialize their losses and privatize all of their gains and speculated like crazy once again. I'm not happy to see that going on. They registered as a commercial bank. I'd like to see banks act like banks again mm -hmm. and not just fevered speculation. I'm interested in the other banks' earnings more than I'm interested in Goldman, and I'm interested in accountability. So if CIT goes down without disturbing the broader economy, hey, that's fine with me. All right, Jerry Boyer, though, uh, I am right. all for letting them go under. Absolutely, 100%. Right. They should never be too big to fail. They do not have systemic risk. Uh, I am a supporter of Sheila Baer's analysis. Well, you want them to have access to the discount window. In the short run, sure. well, I'd well, like to see a little backstop. You know what I mean? Just kind of ease them well, in. That, that's that's what it's for. That's for the why Federal Reserve discount keep them afloat Jerry so we don't take any risks and then go at the same time in the bankruptcy court give me a quick reaction then I got to move on the discount window is for that it's supposed to be the lender of last resort uh, so they should use it let, let me tell you if CIT goes into an orderly bankruptcy that would be extremely bullish in my opinion right, because right. because it puts some of that rule of law premium back into American equity markets it's a signal and people will snap up their good assets all right. Yes. Yeah, look, that's, uh, you're exactly right. Okay, Bob Froelich, uh, let us move on, as someone once said. Bob Froelich, are you sure? You're an optimist. You think a recovery is coming. But I got to tell you, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be uh, cautious and balanced here, really. There is no job creation. There is no income creation. There is no production going on. And sales continue to slump. Those are the four main coincident indicators of the National Bureau of Economic Research. Are you sure, Mr. Froelich? Because I was a lot more bullish a month or six weeks ago when I looked at that jobs report. Now I'm pulling cautious here. Are you sure, Bob Froelich? And does your stock market optimism count on a real recovery? I don't mean some statistical crypto pseudo recovery. I mean a real American red blood. <laughs> <laughs> capitalist job creating recovery <laughs> folks got to work in this country it, you know folks got to work in this country bob Froelich. Well, middle sure, america's got to work main street's got to work i agree with work. you but but, but let me tell you what I, I, I do see happening. I mean, keep in mind, look, look at the July uh, auto production. It is up. I mean, granted, it's just a one little snapshot. But, I mean, I think that's a very bullish indicator. But more important to me, Larry, is that this great drawdown in inventories over the first six months, we know there's going to be an inventory rebuild the second half of the year. And I think that's going to help set the stage for this economic recovery. What's and, again, favorite? a lot of it was due to cost cutting. But I think that if you put that all together, I think you're going to see an I think the recession's over. I think it ended in the second quarter of this year. Uh, okay, Quentin doesn't buy into it. Hang on one second. Give me your one favorite, favorite investment right now for investors watching this rally, probably with some amazement. This thing came out of left field. So did the better yeah. profits numbers this week, Bob Froelich. Favorite Absolutely. investment. It's, Where do you go? Where it's do you go? financials. It's yeah. financials yeah. or yeah. consumer stocks. I think those two. And just if, if Obama gets stocks. any of this stuff in, I would also think of going to tax-free municipal bonds. Yeah. If you make any money in this world, you're going to be paying more in taxes. So I'd hedge the bet a little I bit. I like the financial play. I continue to like the financial play. I think it's the single best play following uh, its providing leadership. Uh, Quentin Hardy, you're right next door to China and Asia. You can basically do some swimming and get over there in a couple hours. What's your take? Is China's tail wagging the U.S. stock market dog right now? If it is, it is short term, and I hope we use it as a bridge to more productive and solid and long term growth. China, I'm sorry, Larry, is a house of cards. Unless they do something about domestic demand, they got an aging population that will creep up and kill them. Ah, uh, so you're not so sure about this whole story, and I appreciate no, that skepticism. No, and I still think we are too... I Counting on the financials to me is counting on the casino. They still act like speculators. I like big tech companies because they hold All a right. lot of cash. 
and they hold margin. Uh, I got to get out of here. I just came back from Las Vegas. I didn't hit one single slot machine. I didn't hit one my single man. 21 game. That's not my bag. You guys are terrific. Bob Frola, Quentin Hardy, Jerry Board. Did I see it? Do we have a Charlie update? Did someone say I'll whisper that in my ear? No Charlie update. All right, let us move on with the show because we got a lot more investment guru dumb, and I'm going to continue to make my case that bad economic news in the short run is leading to higher profits, which in turn may be driving this very surprising and very welcome wealth creating uh, stock market rally. And later on, the Democratic tax and nationalized health care bill, which is front page. President Obama basically endorsed what's going on. Oh my God, that bill with its taxes and its government insurance and its nationalization is so bad, it is so bad, it is crossing the bridge to nowhere on the left so bad, I now believe it'll never pass and therefore I think it is bullish. It shows a setback for all of this big government regulation, taxation and control. Senator Kay Bailey Hutchison of the great state of Texas will give tonight's Republican response. But first up, I'm going to stand by my call. Big banks are the best stock market investment right now. An upward sloping yield curve. Stay with us. we got fresh market recruits. Vince Farrell, Stephan Abrams, and Jim LeCamp. Oh, my God. This is one after another tonight. Events warrant it. This is an unbelievable stock market rally. Is it a turning point, folks? Stay with us. We are the Kudlow Report. And look at all these green arrows on the way out.